The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith which is in Bukhari and Muslim Verily or as a matter of fact all actions are judged by your intentions. So whoever intends to migrate for example for the sake of Allah and His Messenger then their migration is for Allah and His Messenger. But whoever for example wants to migrate for something of this world that he or she wants to attain or to marry a woman for example then their migration is for that which they intended. In other words the Prophet وسلم, is explaining to us that any action any imaginable action that you can think of the reward of it in the end depends on what your intention was in here. The Prophet وسلم, said أَلَا إِنَّ فِي الْجَسَدِ مُضْغَ إِذَا صَلُحَتْ صَلُحَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ Behold in this body there is a lump of flesh. If it is righteous and good then the rest of the body is righteous and good. But if it is corrupt then the rest of the body is corrupt. Behold أَلَا وَهُوَ الْقَلْبِ Behold it is the heart which is inside here. And I don't mean the heart which pumps the blood only. But it is a feeling within here in your chest that when a person is doing something that is wrong and you, f you get a feeling inside of you that you are doing something wrong. But the people on the outside don't realize. But you yourself do realize. And you know that something's wrong about this. This feeling on the inside is the qalb which you are feeling. This is the qalb which the Prophet ﷺ is talking about. When a person is doing something good and you can feel on the inside that you are doing it good, then insha'Allah your qalb is in a righteous manner. There are many people who on the outside show that they are doing good. They speak well, they dress well in the way that Allah loves and His Messenger has taught. They do actions which everybody will praise them about and actions which if you were to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with them, then they earn you paradise. But there is a problem that is happening in our time. In this time of lies, this time of deception, the time of the shaitan, the era of the Dajjal, we have so many trials, so many confusions via the media, in the social network, in the way that we learn our knowledge today, in the behavior and the interaction that we have towards each other. The shaitan has taken his toll upon many of the young men and young women in order to decorate their bad actions to seem like they are good and to make good actions look like they are bad. But even further than that, he went to those who are practicing their deen, saying to them, look, people are looking at you. Look what is so famous out there. You can get popular by looking religious. You can get popular by dressing religious. You can get popular by when you pray so well and when you speak about religion, people look at you and say, wow, this is a knowledgeable person. And so the shaitan begins to pick at the heart until all the actions that the person has done are destroyed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always in between the person's actions and their heart. If the actions agree with the heart, in a good way, meaning the intentions are good and the actions are good, then you have succeeded. But if the actions oppose the intention, then the actions are destroyed. And this is exactly what the shaitan, Iblis, he promised his Lord when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him you are an outcast for not prostrating to Adam and obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command. Iblis said to him with all nerve, he said, I shall sit awaiting your servants where I'm going to wait for them on your straight path. Brothers and sisters, do you know what the straight path is? It is the path which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advised us and guided us to the Quran and the Sunnah. I will sit awaiting for them right there. That's where I'm going to wait for them. And I'm going to make sure I deceive them. I'm going to make sure that while they think that they are doing the right thing, I'm leading them towards hellfire to the point where I will make the hellfire be, I will make them be the ones who will be ignited by the fire.